everyone, this is Buddy back with another video and we're looking at Notability today. This is probably one of the best writing apps and note taking apps out there and especially if you own an iPad Pro, you definitely want to get this and even the regular iPad you can get this and take those handwritten notes with your pencil and it'll be great. Now if you don't have Notability or if you don't have the iPad Pro with the pencils, you can still take notes on this, it's just harder and I'd recommend a stylist. Let's jump into using this on one of the new iPad Pros that I have and taking a look. So if we go onto the app, it's under this pencil looking app called Notability with the pencil and microphone look. So let's take a look. So organizing these apps, you got tons of options here. So at the top, you even got sharing, you can add subjects and dividers. And so these dividers are kind of like folders. So you can say storyboards, year one, stuff like that, you know, the, the classic stuff. Then you get into those sections and you can even make new notes within that subject and section. So right now I, in the iPad Pro, I could make another sheet in there, go into the iPad Pro review that I made for you guys so I would know what to talk about. You can even go up to the top here where the date is. If you go into the T tool up here at the top and type in, you can even rename this note. It just auto to your Google Drive, Dropbox, email, whatever you want really, and you can save these as PDFs as well to send to other apps or to your emails, whatever you want, or to even save that in the cloud. I have iCloud Drive saved on here for my notes, at least until I run out of storage, but this way I can actually sync this to my phone as well as my MacBook. Now on your MacBook, you will have to buy this again. This is a $10 app. Apparently it used to be very cheap, like a dollar. My friend got it for back like years ago. But for right now, it's gonna be $10 for you. Now that is expensive, but you're gonna be using this app for a long time, like years. So this was a totally fine investment for me, especially with all the functionality this Note app has, you'll come to see. So it's got an undo button up here, and say we write something down twice, we can even undo and then redo if you hold it. So if you tap it, it undoes. If you hold it, then you have the option of doing both. So that's pretty nice as well. Now with my Apple Pencil Gen 2, I can double tap the side to switch between the pencil and the eraser, or I can even choose which, pen which tool that it switches back and forth from. So I can say last use, or always eraser, or another tool. Now the first tool we got up here is the text. You just type anywhere. You can change the font, the tabbing, the size, the color, bold, whatever you want pretty much. You can pretty much customize exactly how you want to type in these notes. I'd highly recommend a keyboard for this, but I mean if you really want to type it in with your fingers, you can. I'm not a huge typer with at least an iPad. That's what my MacBook is for. I'm going to be typing essays and notes on that. Not in here. This is my handwritten. Now the next tool is the pencil tool. You can draw any size line and then if you tap on above here you can even choose the different sizes, how thick it is, and then as well as the colors. And if you wanted to change it after the fact you can. So this is the, these are the thinness, I guess, or the thickness size brushes. Very thin to eventually getting very thick. So if you like that very thick brush, you got it right here. So Basically, with these, and you can even make your own colors as well over here, you can add tons of colors that you want, and if you push down harder, it makes a thicker line as well. Now, the next tool is the highlighting tool. Great tool, just highlight, and if you miss the spot, it doesn't look like it overlaps a ton, and you have s some customizability as well with that tool. Now, the only tool you do not have this customizability with is the eraser tool. The eraser tool, though, pretty much only works one way. It's a certain size, so right about there it starts to hit, and it'll only erase one pencil stroke. So see how I connected that E and W together? It's going to erase both of them, even if I only tap on the W comparatively to this T, it's just the T. So just keep that in mind. It's not that big of a deal. It would be nice to be able to refine and like change this, but you know, you can't do it at the moment scissors tool. So basically you can either have like more of like a lasso, whereas you just draw it however you want, or you've got the classic just rectangular. Now pretty much if it touches the lasso tool, it's being taken hold of. So with this, if I just barely touch that bottom of the parenthesis, 
it's connected. Now, if I don't touch it at all and just touch that G, it's not connected, just so you know. But yeah, you can actually highlight your notes and move them around. So you can add in an extra thing there or even move this thing up there. You can do all that with the lasso or, or um, scissor tool. Now you can also, as you saw, resize these because it's got that border box. You can even twist it with your fingers. It's very versatile, especially if you take the this tool, you can especially move it around with your fingers, resize, do whatever you really need to do. Now if you might have noticed that when you do go into here, you can tap on it, convert to text, delete, copy, cut, or style. So you can even change it after the fact of writing it, which is very helpful and nice in case you say want to highlight bonus words, highlight vocab words, anything you want, you can do it. Now taking a look at this text to speech, let's look at how good it is. Wow, got that perfectly right. You can even copy it or convert that text that you just wrote to or convert that handwritten note to text, which is very nice and useful. Actually curious to see if it gets that ampersand. It does, wow, that's pretty nice. Anyways, moving on to the last, somewhat of the last tool. So this is just the, pen, the hand tool. You can just move it up and down with your stylus and you're just not gonna write over it. Very good for studying. You can just scroll through your notes, kind of just like use it as almost like a pointer on your screen. Nice to use. Now the last tool is this microphone tool. So basically it'll tell you when it's recording and you can see it and basically whatever you write down, here I'll just scribble some stuff down, it'll record it in that order that you hit it. So if you hit stop, you click on this down and you want to listen to that first recording, see how microphone it's tool. out. So basically that it'll tell you when it's recording and you can see it. And, then all and basically sudden, whatever speaking, you write down, write here I'll just scribble some stuff you, down, so you can see exactly what the professor, it'll record it in that order talking to is saying and see what you wrote down about that. You can also edit and delete these. They don't take up a whole lot of space, which is nice. So that's a plus as well. Now you can always add photos, GIFs, take pictures, add figures, web clips, tons of stuff, these stickies. You can even add like a grid line thing. You can even translate it into different types of paper. And this is all being done with your fingers after the fact. So say you tap out of this, this is writing on it. If you two finger tap it, then you can edit it and move it around even. Now this is the same thing with photos. So say, let's take Chrome, open it on the side because a lot of times I'll have Chrome open as well when I'm having this in class because I have some questions I have to answer along the side. You can hold on a picture, drag it in, and bam, there's your picture. You can swipe away Chrome, double tap or two finger tap with it and resize it and put it into your document. Very nice and very handy. You can even edit it as well. So now what are the next tools? Well, you got this paper thing. So the stacked paper, you can see the pages that you have written down. You can even click on the three little things and add a page in between. You can even bookmark them. So if you wanna make sure you come to the, the headings or certain sections, you can do that and see them in the bookmarks tab. So then you can see all pages, just your notes. And then you can do search functionality, which I don't know, let's see how good the search functionality is. If I type in super, Wow, it actually can read pretty much the majority of your handwriting and try to find that in the text for you, which is a very handy feature. I haven't used that feature that much, but it's good to know that it's there. Now, the next thing is, is let's look at inserting documents. So I've got this thing on Canvas that I want to insert, this PDF. All you gotta do is hit the share button, scroll over to copy to notability, and bam. Right there, we've got create new note, add to note, or add to this note. If I had add to this note, I can even select just the page that I want or pages and say import. It imports it to the bottom and there it is. Very clear, easy to use and manipulate. I can highlight, do whatever. And I also can highlight this text, hit copy, come up to other places and paste that in and make it bigger, edit it, whatever. And also, even if you make it that tiny, you can zoom in and it's perfectly clear, which is a very helpful and nice and easy to use feature. So you can put in pretty much any document you want into here. Now, some of them don't translate as well 
to notability like with a lot of formatting or a lot of numbers but for the most part you can get everything you need into notability that's been it for this look at notability guys hopefully you've enjoyed this it's super great app if you guys have any questions leave it down in the comments below make sure that big red subscribe button is hit with that bell icon dinged and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video yeah.